you can either have an existential crisis or make fun of Jake Paul. What do you pick to have a good, like, you know, to have okay. a good Saturday? Who looks for the government for their morality? Nobody. You said a wrong thing and now you don't get to participate with us. Like that, like you get kicked out of the tribe and I, that's frightening. I just bring it back again to the average listener, someone who doesn't really study philosophy, that it's, like, it's fascinating to them, but maybe they haven't very much. Um, to you, what does it point out like in our psyche about our society? Um, like, Why would it be important to study philosophy? Like, How does it relate to our everyday lives? How does it a holistic approach to like solving problems? how to think, how to analyze the world, to try to stop unconscious bias. Like, how do you, how do I perceive reality? And it's, how can I change that for the better? Yeah, but again, you said how you present yourself. And I think that is way more complicated nowadays than we really understand. Like this social media thing, this internet thing has really changed. Like you can have an empire, you can have, I, I've dealt with it too. Like I'm always like, oh, how am I being um, in, 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 inauthentic? Like how am I focusing too much on this side of me and my social media? Like how am I digging out these, these, oh, I wanna make sure everybody sees these things. This is exactly what the ego loves to do. Like let's make sure I'm presented in this way. And then these things, like that's real though. Like they're, they're both real and valid. I guess we can't just, we can't define people completely off of who they put themselves out to be because then we're just we're just confusing what's really going on. It's frightening because the thought of, hey, I might do something wrong and be unaware of it, and now hundreds of people are gonna brigade me on Twitter and I'm not gonna be able to participate in society sounds really scary, but it just doesn't happen. It's just not it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen to really anyone. Alright, so let's take a look at this. So People got mad about corporations hanging the pride flag on all their logos. Look what they did in the Middle East, where it's uh, really, really not socially acceptable to be gay. No, this is a actually a definitive. This is actually a definitive virtue signal. This is so when, yeah. So when people are like, "Hey, these corporations are doing all this canceling. Look how liberal they are. Uh, look at that. They need to make money." And most people, like 65% of people, have left-leaning views in America statistically. So you're appealing to majority. This is on the front edge of society. Coca-Cola and Ford both worked rigorously with the Nazis more than anyone else, more than any other company. They sold Fanta to Nazi Germany. Okay, and then we'll look at this one. Hey, I think Coke casually dropped a singular in uh, a singular they into that ad, uh, denoting that they're using they instead of he or she to be inclusionary. Yes, glad you noticed, Parker. We value and celebrate diversity. And then the same week, Coca-Cola accused of funding Colombian death squads. Okay. It seems do like you a fucking movie plot. So do you think that they care about anything but profit? Not literally nothing. And that's just the way society is constructed. We are always protecting our, you know, our ego, of course, but now we have this like ego 2.0. We have our avatar online. Um, do you think like our big fear towards it is a response to like how quickly and how like difficult it must be for us as just humans to adjust to this entirely new way of thinking and doing and having this whole new overlay of reality just within the last, what, 15 years? We used to live in uh, small communities, tribes, uh, hunter-gatherers, and if you don't conform to society or fit in with all these people, you will be ostracized and die because you can't eat because you're alone. You're not gonna be able to survive. We are collective animals by nature and we need others to live. And I think that this sparks something just deep inside people that they just, you don't wanna get kicked out. You don't wanna get kicked out of the in-group. You wanna be a part of the stuff. You don't wanna do anything wrong. And I think it causes a lot of unnecessary fear because it's um, I just, it's a non-issue. I mean, how many people do you personally know that have been actually affected by this? And I know this is not, definitive i don't know anybody too i don't think i know yeah. anybody who's been like canceled all right well i just want to first off this is all bold letters just don't be scared of this don't worry about it you don't need to spend any conscious time being frightened of this if you genuinely just make an effort to be pretty inclusionary just like a good just like a good person and want to understand nothing bad is going to happen to you of any real consequence other than maybe somebody being mad at you on twitter which that happens to everyone for any reason because it's uh the worst place i'm really uh, interested in uh the systems that we put in place to uh make everyone's life better and what is a better way to to 
make a more egalitarian society? How do we maximize human liberty and human freedom while also securing just basic rights?